Do you think that cheat days are your secret weapon for weight loss? Think again. Cheat days are the secret killers of your progress. If you're not consistently losing weight week after week, it's time to wake up because your goals are quickly slipping away with every so-called cheat day that you indulge in. Here's why you need to cut out cheat days out of your life starting today. Let's start with the obvious. Cheat days completely ruin your caloric deficit. A caloric deficit is when you either burn more calories than you consume or consume less calories than you burn. Most cases, it's a combination of the two. And in order to lose weight and lose fat, if it wasn't already obvious, you must be in a caloric deficit. You are watching this video because you already most likely know this. Therefore, you are one of those people who, again, most likely diet for six days and dedicate one day throughout the week to a cheat day. You think to yourself, well, if I'm dieting for six days and only binging on one day, that should mean that I'm still gonna lose weight. Well, nine times out of 10, that single cheat day is enough to add all the calories back on and more and completely nullify your entire week that you've been working so hard on to cut out all the bloody calories and remain in a caloric deficit like this, boop, gone. That's exactly why cheat days, by the way, ruin caloric deficits. I'm gonna give you an actionable, real world scenario. Ready? Six days out of the week, you put yourself in a 300 calorie deficit. That's very realistic. I would say the majority of people who want to lose weight are in between 300 and 500 calories in a deficit. So let's say you're on the lower end, 300 calories. 300 times six, what's that, 1,800, 6, 12, 18. And let's then look at the average calories in order to maintain an average adult physique, 2,200. Okay, so come the weekend, you've managed to burn 1,800 calories if you accumulate 300 times six over the course of the six days that you've been dieting. Then, your maintenance calories are 2,200. Let's plus the 1,800 to that. So on this singular day, you would need to consume 4,000 calories just to break even and look the exact same, or a single calorie over 4,000 calories would put you in a caloric surplus, whereby you're actually gaining weight instead of losing weight. Do you understand how easy it is to eat 4,000 calories, I can do that within two or three hours. The average takeaway meal in Australia these days is probably 1,800 or 2,000 calories. In America, that's probably 2,500, probably 3,000 calories if you opt for a bloody thick shake or whatever they make over there. So you can see, if you are looking forward to this singular day, you're most likely planning the day out you most likely already know what you want to binge eat. And you most likely already have the entire menu from morning to night. Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of drug addicts. Alcohol addicts, smoking addicts, any addict for that matter. You consistently relapse week after week. You're the exact same. You fall back on your goals. You fall back on your diet. You come up with excuses as to why you require this one cheat day. You promote all across your social media to your friends, to your family. Oh, look how healthy I am. Look at what I'm eating. I'm so healthy. I am the epitome of health and fitness. Yet that one day that you don't post any snaps, any photos on the weekend where you are binge eating, which is in fact a disorder in and of itself, and probably a psychological disorder as well. You nullify your entire week's progress and nine times out of 10, you are spilling over your calories and you are gaining weight. That is a very dangerous precedence to think about. You are promoting an increase of cravings, you are promoting overeating, you are promoting binge eating, and at the back of your mind, you're gonna start to think, well, Diets don't work. 
it must be my genetics. Oh, now I must get surgery in order to remove this fat. There's no other way. I've tried everything. Oh, by golly, I've tried everything. No health professional knows what he's talking about because look, I'm dieting for six days out of the week. It's only one day that I'm eating whatever. Surely that means that they don't know what they're talking about. I must know everything. Therefore, the only possible way to get out of this mess is to get surgery. Look, I'm going down a rabbit hole here. That's a discussion for another day. Let's get back into some other consequences of cheat days. We briefly spoke about this, but cheat days trigger cravings. These cravings, let's be honest, they're unhealthy. You'll be remiss to eat anything healthy on that cheat day. Their junk food takeaway, fast food, whatever the hell you want. Unprocessed, overprocessed meats, anything that's super high in fat, super high in body sugars, polysaturated, unsaturated, zero micronutrient, macronutrient value to you, cheap calories, no sustenance whatsoever to your body. Therefore, the following day, after you've consumed your binge eating bonanza, it becomes significantly more challenging to fall back onto your strict diet. You can see the more times you include cheat days during your dieting period, the more times you relapse, the more difficult it becomes to repeat this cycle of falling back onto your strict dieting period. Let's not forget to mention that you're most likely going to be weighing more on the scale the following day too. So you're going to repeat this cycle of overeating, undereating, due to you panicking that you've put so much weight on. So you say, oh, well, now I need to consume a lot less food compared to what I would usually consume on my dieting period to make up for it. Then you go back to a maintenance. Overeating, undereating, maintenance. This is very bad because now this affects your insulin sensitivity, your blood sugar levels, your metabolism, your muscle recovery, your muscle performance both in and outside of the gym, your bloody sleep, everything. Therefore leading to significantly less efficient fat burning, which of course then stores your progress, makes you plateau, then you go in this never ending cycle of well, I'm dieting, why aren't I losing weight? And you can't seem to figure out as to why. Why is it that I'm not losing weight, not seeing progress, despite me dieting? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's as simple as this. If you want to see sustainable, consistent weight loss, week after week, you need to remove cheat days from your life, from your diets, altogether, starting today. Not just tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not I'll think about it, starting today. And if you want to know the best strategies to lose weight and still consume the foods you love, click on this video right here. Let's summarize this video. Are cheat days bad for weight loss? Absolutely yes. They completely sabotage your weight loss. They reverse your caloric deficit, nullifying your entire week's of hard work. They increase, spike your food cravings. This leads to overeating, binge eating, therefore spilling over on your calories, which in turn leads to you gaining weight, not losing weight, which then leads to another whole host of issues. Your metabolism becomes significantly affected, your blood sugar levels, your insulin sensitivity, your muscle recovery and performance both inside and outside of the gym, your sleep, and the list goes on. And this all affects your fat burning progress. You no longer are in a position to be burning fat. In fact, this leads to a temporary weight gain due to glycogen and water on the scale. You're going to step on a scale the day after and wonder why you gained so much weight. Then this spirals into a never ending cycle of food eating disorders, overeating, undereating, maintenance. It's just like an addict. An addict that's addicted to some sort of substance, whether that be smoking, alcohol, drugs, the list goes on specifically. An addict that doesn't have help, accountability, or guidance. Let me tell you something. 
If this is a one-off cheat day that you indulge in probably once every month, let's be honest here, it's not really going to affect your caloric deficit because the likelihood of you over consuming by that amount of calories once per month is no biggie, right? You can just go back on track, no issues. However, if you're doing this frequently, as frequently as once per week, that's where it spirals out of control. The question now remains, if it's still possible for you to start seeing progress again towards your health and fitness goals, if you heed my advice from today's video, and either remove cheat days altogether, or cut it back to once per month? And the answer is absolutely yes. In fact, it is still possible if you've accidentally spiraled out of control for one entire week. But let's be honest, let's be real to ourselves. You have to remain consistent. You have to fall back on your why. Why are you doing this? You want to be healthy and fit, right? You want to achieve the physique goals that you want to achieve. There's no more excuses. Keep yourself accountable. Either find an accountability, find a coach, find someone who's able to assist you in this journey. So if you enjoyed today's video, please consider dropping me a like, subscribing to the channel, commenting below what you would like to see next, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.